I'm Dr. Scott McBride-Smith, the Cordelia Brown Murphy Professor of Piano Pedagogy here at the University of Kansas. And with me is Dr. Ivy Lu Wong, Assistant Professor of Practice and Specializing in Piano Pedagogy. And today we're here to tell you about the KU Piano Pedagogy Program. We've got some great new graduate programs that we're excited to share with you. Now let me begin by just telling you a little bit about KU as a university. KU is what's called a Research One University. That's the highest classification of an American university based on research activity and research funding. KU is a center of research in many subjects, not just piano pedagogy. KU is one of only 65 invited members in the prestigious Association of American Universities. That puts us in the top tier of educational institutions all around North America. To get down to smaller things, our School of Music is a member of the prestigious National Association of Schools of Music in the United States. So KU degrees are fully accredited. They're recognized all around the world as a standard of excellence. If you get any kind of a degree from KU, that means your study will be recognized and respected wherever you pursue your career. So let's dig in. Let me tell you about the first graduate degree in piano. We have something called Certificate in Piano Pedagogy, and that's a one-year, 12-credit program, two semesters, of intense study in piano performance and piano pedagogy. It can be done fully in person. You can join us here on our beautiful campus, or it can be done fully online. So if you, need, if you can't travel to Kansas for some reason, you can complete the certificate in online asynchronous courses. So, although the content of both is the same, it's organized a little differently because we know that students studying online very often already have a job or have responsibilities, so they can't just have a normal academic schedule. It's designed to be taken on your own schedule, meeting the deadlines and assignments. In terms of piano pedagogy, for the pedagogy certificate, you're gonna take three courses in advanced piano pedagogy and private lessons. It's going to be a year of hard work, but you're going to come out with much improved teaching skills. Dr. Wong, can you tell us about the master's degree? Mm -hmm. Master of Music in Piano Performance and Pedagogy requires 32 credits of study and is often completed in two years. The courses include intense study in advanced piano pedagogy and pedagogy practicum, a uniquely designed pedagogy project, private lessons, academic music subjects, and a recital. Some courses are offered online. I'll tell you about our DMA in piano performance and pedagogy. A DMA is a deep dive into pedagogy. <clears throat> Besides the normal academic subjects, you're going to take four seminars in advanced piano pedagogy. You're going to take two seminars in performance and pedagogy and yet one more seminar in teaching music in higher education. We're trying to give you a very broad, deep background in pedagogy to ensure your career success. You have to give four recitals overall, and a special interest are what we call the pedagogy focus recitals, which are kind of up to you. It's uniquely designed to each student's needs. It might be a lecture recital on a pedagogical topic, could be a distance learning project based on pedagogy or a pedagogy focused website. Maybe you can do your own educational publication, your own piano method or educational volume. All these things would qualify as pedagogy focused recitals. We've tried design to design the program to give you the basics of what's expected in an academic DMA and at the same time give you the flexibility to design a program that meets your own needs. So I think Dr. Wang and I would both agree that if you're interested in piano pedagogy, KU is the place for you. We hope to see you here.